As I hope you know, it's been in all the papers, uh, we are facing our first tier one shortage starting in 2022. There are a lot of people, um, CAP included, but there's a lot of people that are working very hard and taking the situation very seriously and looking for the future. So the whole Colorado River is managed by the Bureau of Reclamation. They do what they call a 24 month study or a look ahead of, of where the elevations in these two reservoirs are gonna be, and particularly Lake Mead. It's the August 24-month study that is the, the official determinant of a, of a future um, shortage. So you can see there in the, in the, uh, other, in the graphic there um, the different elevations to the different tiers. So shortages are def defined by tiers. Um, tier 1 the elevation is at 1075. If we drop lower to 1050, we are in a Tier 2, um, and that's really Tier 2A. If we get down to 10... Um, 25 to 1045, we're in tier 2B, and uh, uh, below 1025 is a, is a tier 3 shortage. And that is really, uh, you know, what we're really trying to avoid with a lot of the water planning that's going on. Um, the tier 1 and even the tier 2 is something that regionally is probably a lot more manageable. By the time we get into a tier 3 shortage, municipal and industrial water supplies are starting to be impacted. And also, uh, there's a lot of other things that are impacted, including um, electrical generation from Hoover Dam. So a lot of the work that's going on now is really around managing to not have that happen, um, if at all possible. We call it the bucket chart. Um, it is just a graphic representation of all the reservoirs in the upper and lower basin and how much water is in them and where they are relative to shortage. And you can see the two largest um, buckets there are Lake Mead and Lake Powell. You can see the red lines of the tier one shortage in Lake Mead, and you can see the current elevation at uh, 1067 being below our tier one shortage elevation, and that is a current as of September. So that has a lot to do with what happened last winter and snowpack. Um, we're heading into a winter season, so you know while we're keeping our fingers crossed for, for a, a good snow season, but even a bumper crop snow season isn't going to be enough one season to really get us out of the, uh, the lower you know the lower elevations that we're seeing right now.